Stop chasing your embroidery hoop around your work surface, introducing the no-slip hooping mat from Sewing with Nancy. The soft, textured fabric of this mat grips and stabilizes the hoop, while the laser-etched lines provide accurate alignment. There are more features of this no-slip hooping mat. I'd like to show them to you. The mat is 15 and a half inches by 21 inches. The fabric is soft and textured. The size of the hoops that you can use are almost limitless. All the sizes that come with machines fit within the confines of the 15 and a half by 21 inches. For accuracy, there are laser etched lines, vertical and horizontal, and they're dark enough so that you can see through the stabilizer, which you'll see in a few minutes. There are seven non-slip feet that are included in the packaging. Use double-sided basting tape that you may have at home and attach the basting tape to the wrong side, peel it off, and then stick to the underside of the mat, each corner in the middle and then one in the center. These feet elevate the mat and they provide extra spring when working and hooping. It's kind of like a gymnastics mat. It's soft and has spring. And because of that spring, it's easy on your wrist when doing the hooping. Now here's how to hoop with a non-adhesive stabilizer. I'm going to be working with a five by seven hoop and align the inner and outer hoops together and position on the mat so that the marks on the inner, inside of the hoop are aligning with the laser etched lines. Then you can remove the inner hoop the outer hoop is in position. We're working with the stabilizer, placing it over the outer hoop. I've already predetermined where the design should be embroidered. On this towel, we've press marked, and you can finger press. We've press marked so that you could see it a little bit more clearly. Marking the center, folding in half, folding in half again, and pressing or just finger press these edges. Then keep it folded and align the center point of the project with the center point on the mat. Unfold the project so that the vertical lines are in place as well as now the horizontal lines. Take some time to smooth out the fabric. That inner hoop comes into play next. Do some more double checking to make certain that the marks on the fabric and the marks on the hoop are in position, are lined up. Now use the palm of your hand and do some hooping. And you'll see that the hoop markings are aligned. The hardest part is getting the fabric in the hoop. Now the embroidery is next, which is the easy part. Now here's a hooping technique with an adhesive stabilizer. I have a tacky stabilizer that has a paper covering. I've scored the interior of the hooped stabilizer with a pin, and then I would peel off the paper protection, exposing the adhesive. Much like before, you're going to align the marks of the hoop stabilizer and hoop with the laser etched lines on the mat. Now the lines are dark. You can see right through that area, so you'll be able to do the positioning with ease. As before, determine the placement of your design. Use your favorite technique for doing that, and then fold horizontally and vertically at that center point. Position the fabric on the adhesive stabilizer, fold it, and smooth it out. And you can see it's lining up both vertically and horizontally. And now you're ready to add a stab top stabilizer and do the embroidering. This is a great way of getting your fabrics in the hoop just the way you'd like them. Nancy's Notions offers a full selection of sewing notions to complete your sewing and quilting skills. Order your supplies today.